Hello, SDI enthusiasts again. My name is Peter Chin Hong, and I'm an infectious disease physician and faculty member at UCSF. Today, I'm going to give a short talk on vaginitis, one of three main SDI syndromes. These are our learning objectives for this module. Once again, we will review the organizational framework, which will guide you throughout the whole section on SDIs. In this section, we will explore the causes of vaginitis, the third box of three boxes in which all SDIs fit. We will review candida, bacterial vaginosis, or BV, and trichomonas, even though trichomonas is the only true SDI in this group. Once again, our favorite pathogen map, and we are here today in the red. Again, our three boxes, and our focus today is on vaginitis. Let's start with a few words on vaginitis. In general, vaginitis is characterized by vaginal discharge, itching, or odor. It is distinguished most often by a wet mount in a clinical setting. Some point-of-care tests are also available. The common causes of vaginitis include candida, bacterial vaginosis, and trichomonas. Other causes include normal or physiologic discharge, lichen planus, and medications such as oral contraceptives. The picture shows a speculum examination with a white vaginal discharge. In the normal vagina, lactobacillus are the predominant normal flora. See the gram-positive rods laid on top of the nice regular epithelial cell pictured. Some vaginal discharge can normally be seen, and this physiologic discharge could be clear and mucoid, but varies depending on the menstrual cycle and on whether or not the patient is pregnant. Let's start with candida. Candida is one of the main causes of vaginitis. Antibiotics may inhibit the normal flora of the vagina, especially lactobacillus. As lactobacillus is inhibited, the growth of candida is promoted, which is a normal part of many women's flora. The main species of candida that we see is candida albicans. Women may present with cottage cheese discharge, which is white and clumpy. You can diagnose the infection by a wet mount showing yeast and pseudohyphae on a KOH prep. Treat with fluconazole for one dose, and there are also other options for one-time vaginal suppository or vaginal cream. Let's now turn our attention to bacterial vaginosis, or BV. The pathogenesis of BV is uncertain, but it is thought to be caused by an overgrowth of gonorrhea vaginalis and other anaerobes. Patients may present with mild odorous gray thin discharge. A wet mount will show a clue cell, which is an epithelial cell whose borders are obscured by bacteria. See the images on the slide that illustrate the clue cells with obscured borders in the lower slide. In contrast, the normal epithelial cells pictured have beautifully regular borders. In BV, the pH will be greater than 4.5, which is normally less than 4.5, reflecting the imbalance of bacteria. Treat with metronidazole or tinidazole. Finally, let's discuss trichomonas. Trichomonas is a protozoa, which is a single-cell parasite. Patients with trich, as it is also called, present with foul-smelling greenish vaginal discharge. Itching and burning is common. You can see motile trophozoites on a wet mount. Strawberry cervix is another finding and refers to the punctate hemorrhage of the cervix seen with trick infections. Note that because trichomoniasis is a card-carrying SDI, you also need to treat sex partners. Metronidazole or tinidazole are the drugs of choice. Here's a summary to compare the three main disease entities that we have discussed today vaginal candidiasis, bacterial vaginosis, or BV, and trichomoniasis. And there you have it. Thanks for your attention, and peace out.